right, welcome back to Never Famous, where we're digging into music, art, and creativity. Today, we're reacting to another new song from Oliver Anthony. Please hit the like and subscribe, comment, and share to all your friends, because we need that. It's a part of the growth. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Well, if it won't for my whole dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Cause every day living in this new world is one too many days to me. Son, we're on the brink of the next world war, and I don't think nobody's praying no more. And I ain't saying I know it for sure. I'm just down on my knees, begging the Lord and take me home. I want to go home I don't know which road to go Been so long I just know I didn't used to wake up Feeling this way Cussing myself every damn day There's always some kind of bill to pay Satinous to his voice Yeah Which is crazy like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, like I get it. It's like kind of country, but it's like soul to me. You can hear it. Like soul music. But like, there's like this level of like, fuck, I'm tired. Yes. <laughs> like, I'm over it. Kind of a, like, like in his, like inside of him. Like, it comes he, across. He Especially, looked, yeah, go ahead. He, no, I just, he looked like every boy from South Philly I'd have never met. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he said, I just want to go home. Like, I felt that on so many levels. Like not to be sappy or whatnot, but like that sounded more but as fuck. You say. Nah, I, I I get I get it I get it though. That's I, like we were saying. Tiring. Like, it's it is tiresome, especially the part when he said he feels like he nobody's praying no more. It's true. Like yeah, yeah. if you take if you pay attention, religion was taken away from a lot of things. School number one, like they don't they don't really well, push us. Right now, like, religion is down. So, like. The, like people believing and praying and going to church and all that shit, like the rates, the percentages of all of that is down. And that's but, that's part of the agenda too. Like they they trying to take away religion, like they trying to take away Christianity. I don't even think it's an agenda. I think from a perspective of of freedom uh, and and trying to have such a distinct separation between church and state, we might have gone too far. Uh, but it's kind of interesting. Like the the line right before he talked about people praying he was like we're in a brink of a world war yeah um which we are especially today the shit that happened the guy that got died on the plane by accident <laughs> uh but Shout out the viewership no but i do think we're like at a point where as a whole we just don't have moral values that we're aligning to one another and i think in many countries that happens to be religion i think in america at one point it was religion mm uh specifically christianity and 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 like the core of america was written under that like if you even read like the uh constitution declaration of independence and so on like and, and it has many traits that come from christianity and i think we are at a point where people are fighting that off and they want to portray religion as something negative do, do you do you think that, that that's the problem though that it was it was based off of a a like a religion as opposed to a moral compass where we all are kind of we're all more more like we all have more of a moral compass than we all have a religious compass i don't well, think, think that's true we... i think moral compasses if you really think about it comes from religion exactly uh, i think it's that. just that that we are now leaning heavily to science which i understand but like even what we're proving through science comes from a religion perspective because most moral compass if we take christianity as a way to 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 use it as an example it falls probably very close to the Ten Commandments, like most of of like of what we consider to be bad. But I just because this is the like similarities between all of the religions, like they're common stories, common yeah things. Like they all come from. Um... But there, but there's this story I think in America that we don't speak about, and that is that we're portraying religion as something negative because people who are religious tend to be. Uh, maybe very judgmental, judgmental or yeah. conservative in many ways because they're viewing it through the lens of their religion. But then we look at other countries that may be very religious and even probably their political system is based on religion, 
and we try to impose our way, our modern way of looking at the world, and we think those people are oppressed or not happy. Uh, like even if you take women, I don't know, in the Middle East, where where people are primarily Muslim, and and then you have Muslim governments, like the government is very influenced by the religion. We often automatically think that maybe women there are not happy, but like if you go to Dubai or something, are women truly not happy in Dubai? <laughs> that's that's a good point. I mean, we wouldn't know. I just think they they got different problems than the women here do. Yeah, we, like they're... we wouldn't really know. No, I understand, that, but, but that's what I'm saying. That sometimes we get blinded because we want to impose our way of life and we judge their way of life. We're like, oh, why do they have to cover up their hair? Why do they have to cover up their body? Because women now in America or in any Western country view the their ability to express their body and share it as a form of freedom or like liberty or power. Whereas a woman in the Middle East may view covering herself up and only allowing her husband to see her as a form of power. We don't know that. But we automatically just put our perspective into it. It's just um, perspective. Yes. Yeah. I know where I'm moving. <laughs> I told you I'm trying to find a wife here. He's going to convert into, he's going to be a Muslim. You're going to be a passport, bro? Is that what they're calling them nowadays, the young people? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm trying to find a wife, not more whores. <laughs> people just doing what the rich man say. I want to go home. Son sails to a man out of town, and two weeks later, trees go down. Only got concrete growing around, and I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I don't know which road to go. It's been so long. Just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way Cussing myself every damn day People have really gone and lost their way They all just do what the TV say I wanna go home I probably would agree with that. I definitely do. I'll probably expand a little. I know they say that he said the TV, but I do think people go... TV, phone, phone, like whatever media. the screen says, yeah, yeah. which is kind of scary. And it, and depending on how you view it, we're living. Have you ever read 1984? No. Watched the movie? No, no. no. Wonder Woman 1984. Oh, uh, I know that's not sure. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but I think it's interesting because I think we are living at a, at a point in time where we let ourselves be dictated by what the screen is saying, and we oftentimes don't question what somebody else is saying online and but just take it as gospel most question shit that's some shit that i'm, I'm getting tired of a little bit of just this is the era this is the time and like these motherfuckers was worse than us they believe like motherfuckers in the 70s and 80s believe way more shit than we did in the 90s believe way more shit than what we believe now they believe the news and, and shit way more i agree with you on that i agree with you on that are we so question and and because i don't agree 100 percent what you said so do you believe we're really questioning for understanding or we're questioning to prove that we're right it doesn't it doesn't matter the question it just it doesn't matter what the question is for it matters that it's being questioned it wasn't it was never questioned before well it was not never but it was barely or, or barely questioned before as opposed to now it's more frequently questioned for whatever the reason is if it's even it's just like certain shit you might be like you know what that probably did happen but it's just like They've lied to me like when you date when you date a toxic girl and it's like this she done lied to me so fucking much that I just don't believe don't nothing believe that she said. Like <laughs> I'm sorry, but like you probably was with your mom, but I, I don't believe you. Like you right. lied too much. And that's that's what it is. So you're talking about the government or are you talking about in general? So I'm talking in general. In general about the government. I I'm not talking about the government. Or the, like the news and shit like that. Anything. 
Because I, I think the news is whatever. I think the news are falling behind. The news are not as impactful any longer. I, I'm talking more social media. I'm talking more TikTok. I'm talking more the short form content. The fact that sometimes, even if I take the news, there is many people who their source of information is 10, 15 second clips of video. And they believe they become experts on a topic because of what they heard in a quick video. Just from those seconds. Correct. It's very true. That's what I'm that's what I'm talking about when people are not asking questions or trying to learn or pursuing something for understanding. Because so many short form content I, are taken out of context. Like people are just presenting the surface of something and then running with it. Right. I think, that, I think that's true. But I, I just I don't think people were were ever necessarily deep diving into certain topics like on the average person isn't a journalist so it's, if it's not something that's like important enough for them to care about every single day on a day-to-day -day basis or something that's like impacting them like on average what are you really going to deep dive into like think about it, like if you don't really care about this thing like you're not about to like no i think it was different back in the days because i think the only difference you had is that because there wasn't such an influx of information, there wasn't so much. Most people were consuming similar information, so they were probably having conversations about the same topics. So that was a little different. So if I would have went to the barber shop, we all watched the same game yesterday, or we all watch the same news, so we can talk about the same thing and potentially have a discussion that goes beyond just asking something very surface. But even right now, we all probably watch something completely different on our phones the entire day. But And th and that's what opens the conversation because when you're talking about that time where like, you like everybody's watching this, like you said, everybody's watching the same thing. So you're not understanding that there's different narratives that are being pushed in different, in different things. Cause when you watch a, from, from sports to politics, like you don't, whatever it is, you don't understand like the different points of views and the different things that are being pushed in these things. You get what I'm saying? No. <laughs> he said no. Because like, I, I, I kind of have an idea of what you're going with it. I just, it doesn't click 100%, like, the reasoning behind it for me. Like, I know what you're saying. So I think people are, from a quantity perspective, people are asking more questions. Right? Yeah. Now, what I would say is, once we go on 90% of conversations I can have with any individual they may point across an opinion or they may put across a belief and they have enough information in their brain to give me the base layer answer to that question. And then they will struggle with the follow-up question. Mm -hmm. unless, it, unless it's something that they care about enough to like but really sometimes, dive deep into it. But sometimes they express many of these things as if they cared a lot enough about it and they may judge someone who disagree with it or like view them as something crazy. And like, let me let me try to give you an, an exact example and then it'll be easier to kind of deduct it. Um, so imagine, what's an ideology? Give me any that, that we're living through right now. Ideology. Put me on the spot with the camera right on me. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not good on, on the spot. So. Can be anything. I don't know. Every man needs to be, I don't know. Strong, with, with macho, you know, we don't have, we supposed to suppress our feelings. and So perfect. So that's the opposite. So right now yeah. we're living at a point in time where we're being told men need to be more in touch with their feelings mm -hmm. and they need to express it more. Mm -hmm. And there's a thing called toxic masculinity. Yes. And then you ask, what is toxic masculinity? What is the answers you're going to give me? Uh, I guess men shouldn't cry. Uh, there was another one that I always hear. What makes that toxic? Well, we're human. Regardless of we're we're a man, like we're still human. We have feelings. We have emotions. Okay. Right, but um, we're pretty much told that we were in a, in a way that we shouldn't give into them or really feel them just like oh if you're sad or don't don't cry men don't cry you know just shrug it under the rug like push it on the rug type of thing and i don't i don't think that's toxic masculinity but i've never used that phrase before i think that's shit is but you're a man you shouldn't I, cry I like that's think, i don't think that that's talk like i don't think that's what that is i think it's more like 
like you treating a woman like shit and then your justification is like, oh, because I'm a man, I can just treat you however the fuck I want or whatever. I think that might be a little bit something that's more toxic masculinity as opposed Give to Give me crying. an example of one trait. Like what, what is one thing that you can do that is treating a woman like shit? Um, if you let a woman say it, just like sleeping around with multiple women and like... And that's toxic maybe not masculinity. Nece- maybe not necessarily being like very honest with... All the perfect. That so you're sleeping with. Let's go with that. That's a perfect scenario for me to go deeper. So let's put it in that a woman says that, right? The sleeping yeah. around with many women makes you a toxic. If man. you're not, if you're not necessarily open about what you're doing. Sure, that's fine. Now, the part that oftentimes you don't speak about is that's a belief that many women probably hold, and more often than not, they'll probably give you the quick "men ain't shit" kind of an answer. No. Like they'll quickly give you that, right? But then I can dig deeper and say. Why do you go for men that ain't shit all the time? You do the selecting. You do the picking. You choose who you're going to engage with. And then what happens once you go beyond that first layer? I guarantee you they probably get defensive and they're not willing to engage too much in the conversation. Because like now accountability. Because now we're f- focusing on accountability, but it's also making them think deeper than saying all men ain't shit. And I think that's what we're living with most issues. I could have done it with a toxic masculinity, by the way. The the example you gave, I could have went deeper two layers. And I guarantee you that the traditional answers beyond that quick answer, maybe a second one, that's it. There's not much more you can go deeper. I fucking hate that shit. I hate that shit when I'm talking to people. And it's like, and the shit that you're saying is like, like, what the fuck are we talking about? It's like, I meet 15 women and you're telling me the same fucking thing. Yo, niggas ain't shit. Why they not shit? Well, yes. Oh, yeah. because I have it. So that's what I mean. Right now we're like, living. Give me a real fucking answer. That's, so that's what I'm referencing to in regards to the to the move to the song. We're living at a point where people. It's not that they don't ask questions. They don't think for themselves, and they believe they're asking questions based on what somebody else asked online and the little bit of an answer they gave them. So they just regurgitate stuff they heard. Not something that they learn or like try oh, to look into or try to understand it, but then they pretend to be an expert about it. Yeah, that's valid. I want to shine a light on the that's, part where that he says, "Understanding of that." Yeah, I agree. I want to shine a light on the part where he says, um, "I used to never wake up like this." I, uh, something I cuss myself every day. I feel like that happens. I mean, that's common nowadays where we're so focused on comparing right you know somebody else like taking to social media you see all this shit and you like damn i wish i had that that what that person has or i wish i was as successful as what i'm you know what i'm seeing from this person's life on social media and it's like we forget to appreciate the stuff that we do have currently or the things that we have achieved but why because we're constantly comparing our uh success or wherever we are in life to somebody else and i think it's it's it's, it's an erroneous way to live life because 90 percent of the time especially if you're doing it through social media you're comparing your struggles yep to somebody else's fake perfect life yep because you have to keep in mind that most people are only posting what they want you to see and they will curate whatever they want to post into their social media, especially big celebrities and big influencers. Uh, They're like truly curating experiences for their social media to make it look like more than they are. Yeah. And I mean, from something as simple from the way they post on a photo to I'm going to drive by a nice car. Let me stop, take a picture in front of it, kind of make it look like I'm living a lifestyle that I'm not necessarily doing Uh, stuff like that. Like I know people that will rent Airbnbs for a day to create content in it. And then bank it and then post it for like the next three to four months randomly. So it feels like they're all oh, they're traveling. They're in a different place here and here all the time. That is true. That is very true. But is it is it like when you say posting different content, are they like monetizing this content or is it just like like social like Instagram posts just to like Well, for some people's Instagram posts, some people are monetizing it, but I I'm I'm sharing it from the perspective of like a regular person is thinking their life sucks because they're not living to those standards. And people fail to realize that People never post their failures. They only post their successes. So, of course, you know, you're going to see, they're going to, this person's going to look so grand, so big, like, wow, he's so successful. Because nobody posts their failures. I nobody posts it. Nor do they really talk about it like that. 
Nobody, that's true. But then what about the people that I'm like, are, but even, even like their successes are bigger or better than my successes. But it goes back to what I was saying. So like, even like, or even I'm not, go ahead. I know I'm saying, it just goes back to what I'm saying. It, it, you know, I shining light on what he was saying. Like you wake up feeling like shit because you're constantly comparing yourself where you are at in life to somebody else and where they are or their success. It's like you can never really enjoy or truly appreciate the things that you've achieved because you're constantly comparing. But if I never see that, does it, does, like, does it, it never makes me want to work harder. Oh, okay. That's a good point. That's a good point. I guess it, it becomes, I don't know what's possible if I, if I never see it, if I don't, cause I, I might, not everybody has that imagination and that dream. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it gets to a point where if you're able to have that balance of like, okay, like instead of comparing and be like, damn, like my, my life sucks. It's like, okay, uh, I'll, I'll that's motivation no, for me. Like I instead of that. using it for like, you know, shaming yourself, use it more. So motivation. you can use it as motivation, but it's also sad that we've gotten to the point that we have to seek motivation from an external source. And I don't mean it uh, in a way because you can get motivation from external sources all the time. I mean it from somebody that you don't even know. I understand that you can use that as inspiration, but I think like we've lost the 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 family structure and like something that we used to have like for me like my parents in their 20s they already had kids so they had this thing that drove them to grow and be better so like in their 20s so if you're 22 23 24 you're already having kids you're like oh now i have a family to take care of so i need to do something not just for me but for others so we live at a place right now where we're so individualistic that we don't even have that source of responsibility that will push you to want to be better Right. And right. To, and that will push you to, oh, even if I don't feel like doing something today, I'm still going to go ha go out there and get it because it's not only me depending on it. Like without an external uh, without an external um, influence. Right. I think you have that in external influence now because that's all you have. No, but I'm saying you're saying like it, 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 it'd be better. Not like if you had a family per se and you're like, oh, I'm responsible for more than just me. Yeah. By default, you have a whole different source of of like fuel that you have to utilize. Like, right. Oh, I got the responsibility of not just me, but I have to take care of like maybe kids, a right. wife, whatever the case might be a household that like it gives you uh, a sense of purpose. And not, not only, not only to even go to that extent of having a family, but you can also take a scenario of like uh, me, for example, like I bought my first property. I'm like, okay, well I bought my first property at such and such age, man. What I wonder what, how much more I can get by i don't know 30 or 35 and things like that instead of comparing myself to like oh well this person got his first property at 21 and he's already at five by the age of 26 you know what i mean yeah i was gonna say give me a different example because i don't i don't like that that kid family sh like thing because i don't i don't think that having external using external things as motivation is a negative thing like in a, in a way that you're saying it like I don't. I don't think. I don't, no, think, I don't not, think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. But if you're using it to 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 the point that it's hurting, because you're comparing yourself, so you always feel like you can't achieve it, and you will never get there because it seems so far away. I don't I, think. I don't I think it's a, like I don't feel like I can't achieve it. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think social media turned it into a bad thing. Uh, yeah, because to me, it's like it's like the it's like the it's a mixture of Nipsey and Kobe. It's like hustle and motivate and and fucking I'm a shit on you niggas. Like all right, but y'all got it. Y'all like like. It's 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 the it's the thing that keeps me going. Keep you going, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's an influence, and you can have music that you know inspires you and wants you to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it weren't for my whole dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Shout out to dogs. Dogs are for very helpful. For my dogs. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Ooh. That's... And I'm saying that's a, that's what you mean. That's one of those. That's where like some people sell their soul for money, and 
and corrupt themselves and do things that they want to do for money. What's it like? I was thinking about that shit actually earlier this week. I'm like, damn, like certain times you see people do some shit, and I'm like, man, like you could tell. I'm like, bro, like money, you sold your money soul for that. Money couldn't make me do that, man. Like, couldn't make me go against that. Like, what certain things or whatever. But that just goes back to just morals, bro. Like, we we lost a lot of that. Well, I think we made money be the the especially in America in a way uh, we're like hyper hyper capitalistic in many ways, which I understand. Um, but we got to the point where we celebrate the the go get it kind of mindset all the time. Yeah, uh, and yeah, we put that in a pedestal. But that's the reason why everybody comes here. But I understand that. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go a little layer because I'm not saying that necessarily bad. But then we try to put down uh, some uh, more traditional values, for lack of a better term. Like, like, like as a society, we push, uh, go it on your own. You don't need another person. You need to be happy. You need to make it happen on your own. Be an entrepreneur. Make your own business. Mm. And, and then if, if somebody comes around and says, like, oh, no, I want to have kids, and I want to focus on building a family, we automatically, at a point in time, we may look at that person in a negative way. Like, and we're like, do what do you want to have kids? First, go build a career. Go get a degree first. Why would you want to have kids at 24? Do you get what I mean? Why would you want to get married and have children and, like, go live in a farm at 25? That doesn't make any sense. Like, you probably have heard that before. Like, the, the definition of success is more so what you're saying. Like, oh, build a business, do things on your own. It's like we build push... This. Yeah, we push ourselves to like the way that quote said it. You sell your soul for money. Yep, and like you believe that money uh, is going to be the thing that is going to fulfill you in life. It really is. And then you may get to the point that by the time you realize that it isn't, you may have the money, but then you don't have that those other things that can fulfill you, and it may be too late. That is true. It goes back to what I was saying that one time, where it's like for me. Like, don't get me wrong. I strive to be successful. I strive to build wealth and whatnot. But, like, for me, true happiness is having a family that with under strong, healthy foundation, you know, that gives me genuine love. Like, that, as long as everybody in the household genuinely loves me. You know what I mean? You, yes. I, that's, exa- that's exactly what I want for myself. And what you said is is exactly how I feel because it's like I've. For a minute, it like it, it took me a long time to get comfortable saying like, yo, like I, I said that shit last was it last part two weeks ago. I'm like, yo, like now nah, I want to get married. Like I want that's like I want to have kids. I want to do this. Like, it took me a while really, for that like, too. <laughs> like being honest about it. Like that's really that's genuinely what I want. And and in what you're saying, that's really true. Like I've I've noticed it. Like I've noticed other people kind of get like bullied for it or whatever. And then me kind of I'm like, damn. Subconsciously, I noticed that I've kept it to myself. You probably were like, is something wrong with me? Because. Because I want to do what society doesn't expect me to do. Right. Like, that's, if, exactly, like, weird? that's exactly how I feel right now where I'm like, where I, I keep talking about dating and shit and I'm like, I'm meeting these women and then like, yo, all these women are like, no, I'm outside. I'm doing this. And, yeah. and I'm like, I'm not judging you. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't care. You could let the whole world hit. I don't give a fuck. It's just in that I'm like, this isn't what I want for me. Like, I don't like, that's not fulfilling for me. Just, just casually, just fucking around like right different ways. it's just not fulfilling for me like so, if that's what you want cool but that's not what i'm aligned with yeah that's not where i'm at anymore so as i'm getting older i'm like damn and like Facts. i guess i never i wasn't i wasn't never able to put like words to it or like a phrase sort of why i felt like why i kind of kept that to myself a little bit mm. but i guess that's that's what it is like it's yeah. just that that should have like whenever I and it sucks because i think right now we're living in an age where a lot of Young people do not have an example of what a family is. Mm, uh, whoa, like wow, they, yes. you, like you don't grow up seeing that. Yes. Like you know what I mean. Like you don't know what a, like a stable family is. And and it's not like I would say it's, it's not just oh I grew up with a single parent or whatever. Like like it's not even that because I'm like even within a family dynamic there can be so many changes and how easily people are divorcing so you see like different step parents step into the picture so now you have an even more distorted idea of what a family can be or like who's there for you or not for you or is this person trying to take a place like it's a very uh interesting time where we are i don't want to say morally because i don't think people want to be bad people 
I think it's culture. I think we're misguided. I think I think it's culturally, but I think I think it's a different form of culture. Like when normally when I when I say culture, I'm speaking like like urban city culture when I say culture. Mm-hmm. But like now in this form that I'm just using always culture, I'm speaking like American culture, like our as as people. But that goes to that goes back to what we was talking about earlier, where the bad shit is really praised more than the good shit. You know what I mean? Like how you were saying, like I want to get married, you don't want to have family, and then you're looked at as like, what the hell? Like you know, like get money, fuck bitches, da da da. Like nah, like that's not that's not what we're here to do. Realistically, I mean, no, I, I don't. I don't think that that's true. I think it depends on the person. I don't, well, I mean, yeah, it depends who you that, ask. That's, but. That, that's what it is for them. But, but yeah, I don't know. I think for some people, they may think that's what it is for them, uh, and it may be a stage you might be in life. But once again, I think it ain't. There's nothing wrong with shaming people sometimes, because sometimes that's what it takes for you to like see it. Especially and I don't mean, and I don't even mean you directly. Like you mentioned, oh, I'm dating all these girls, and they're like, oh, I want to be outside I didn't and all say that. that. <laughs> no, I, I did not say. You said I'm no. a good man. I'm you said you were. You said you're dating. You're dating. You're trying to date. I'm, but, I'm meeting different women. But you're getting all the I'm outside kind of this, and I'm like, sometimes it's okay even to those individuals to pose the question of like, yeah, what are you getting from being outside? Because sometimes they haven't heard that question. I've been trying to act like not for, I've been trying to and ask, I don't, but like I don't, I don't get it because and it's like I talk to some like some of my like some of my female friends that are like we just friends like it's just whatever and I'm like and and they can't give me like a legitimate like, they thing are where I think to me that doesn't make sense. No, they, they never are the they same never boat can. you are that or you just were because I because I even like talk to my wife about this because I'm like yeah I'm not a woman so I don't think like her but with this modern age. Uh, I don't even want to say feminism, but maybe the the amount of uh, women I feel access like... that women has had to like at yeah. this day and age, like women are the most free there ever been, if for lack of a better term. I need like, you to clip this part, uh, please. Cl- I need you to clip this conversation. Okay. No, like I, like than than they ever been before. So we're at a point where they may be feeling the same thing you were feeling. Like for you, it was weird to say, "Oh, I want a family," and that's this is what I want to pursue. Because nobody's saying it's cool to do that. That's it's a right to pursue that, and it's okay to promote it and be happy and proud about it. I think for women, it may be that you're in a place where you are being told you need to be a boss bitch right now. You have to go get it. You shouldn't depend on no man. I don't need no man. Like, and so you get to the point that like if everybody else around me is saying that, if I don't say that and do that, is something wrong with me? Right. And I wonder how many women are going through that internal battle that they're afraid to vocalize it because they're like, no, everybody else is saying that I should be outside. No, not only that, but like it, as a woman, if you do speak in the way of like, oh, I just care about having a family. I don't care about being the strong independent. They're going to be, they're often labeled as a pick me or like, oh, you just. There you go. You got labels. Like yeah, you're, got you're labels. automatically giving them something different. In my mind, this shouldn't be. Like, we're all different. We're all human. We all can pursue and want something different in life, and it is okay. And the way I view it is, if you're not getting in the way of my ability to live my life, then do you. And that, right. and, that, and, that's, and that's okay. But I don't think we do a good job of promoting some decent things, like promoting family. I'm like, we should be doing way yeah. more. Like, I like that. I mean, it's, it's promoted. It's just, like I said, the good shit isn't really... Value. I don't think families promoted. Maybe recently in the last couple of years, a little bit more, but like it wasn't once or twice that I saw women say on Mother's Day or on Father's Day, "Oh, I'm the mother and the father." Yeah, yeah. You yeah, get yeah. what I mean? So that's not promoting family. That's creating this wedge or this division or this perception that fathers are not worth it. Right. You get what I mean? And, and not only that, but like it's like it goes back, kind of piggybacking on what you're saying that like they can never tell you. I. I've often had conversations with with women, and I had the same questions. Like, yo, what? And it often, it often, from what I realized, and they never really admit it, but it comes from a place of hurt. It comes from a place of hurt. Ladies, 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 please hit the comments. Let us know what 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 do y'all enjoy so much about going out? What like? Not necessarily about going out, but what do you what do y'all prefer? Is it like going out, being in relationships? So why why do y'all prefer one thing as opposed to another? Is it does it come from a place of hurt? Does it come from just a place of enjoyment? We we would love to know as three men sitting here in a triangle. Facts. Hi, what what's, what's going on? Why why aren't women necessarily looking for marriages and relationships and th- these kinds of things anymore? Why why just more casual stuff? Listening too much to the Kim Kardashians and the 
Um, what's but her Kim, name? Kim, Mila, whatever. What was her name? The, I'm not sure, but Kim over here now saying like, "Damn, she wished she was still with Kanye. She wished that he would have got his mental health." She right. was saying that. Yeah. Oh, so recently, <laughs> like wishing like, "Oh, I wish his mental health was good and she would have worked out between us and all this other shit." So it's like, as my, I feel like I'm, I'm standing on and I'm gonna die on the fucking hill. That is like. As much as they say all that, they love the whole shit, they love all the extra shit, man. I, I genuinely don't believe that the, the average, like, I, I genuinely believe that the average woman would prefer to be with a, with a man that they felt like they, like, really treated them right and, like, they felt comfortable and safe with and loved them and appreciated them. I feel like, I, my personal fin, opinion, I think they would pick that over the casual, just fucking different dudes. I, mean, I don't just, know, because that would tell you the truth. And that this is a question I'll ask. It's like, don't you think most women probably have someone in the friend zone that will be that type of person to them? But there's a reason they're they're in the friend zone. I know. Because they're not the asshole. They're not the... What's the word? They're, let's just stick it to that. They're just not that asshole. They're not that guy. They're That person in the friend zone is usually a nice guy or, you know, the opposite of what they need as opposed to what they want. I don't agree with y'all. You don't? Mm -mm. That's crazy. And now I feel like nowadays too, women are taking more the ro more role of masculine. Like they're taking more of a masculine role. Yeah, yeah. And they're okay with that. Yeah. Which is crazy. I mean, wh wh while they're young, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're cool with that. While but young. also in in that's so wrong. In counter to that, in counter to that, though, there are more men that are in a more feminine. That doesn't state. make any sense. You don't. You no, don't. not not the more men. I'm saying like you're saying a woman takes on a fa masculine role when they're young. No, no, no I don't. So not, what you yeah, think is gonna happen when that. they're old? They go. They gonna find out. It. They gonna find out a real funny lesson. I. I, I, I when they're old, single, with no family, just a bunch of cats. No, no, it's not. It's, <laughs> so what you're it's saying? When, it's when they're fucking old and they got three kids with three baby dads and they single. That's what I'm talking about. No, because what I'm saying is, like, there's no such thing as you changing your personality. You're going to grow up being who you are. And you're probably going to become more of what you are as you get older. What I'm, what I'm, why I said while they're young is because what I, what I meant by that is, like, they're, like, in my personal opinion, I think that on average, not everyone, because everyone is not fucking the same, on average, they're going to regret it. They're like, or maybe not necessarily regret it, but they're going to be like, damn, if shit was a little different, like, I might have not necessarily took the same path, or I might have not just been as casually, casually like that's just regret. fucking with different people. That's regret. They regret it. Maybe like damn. At some point, there was a guy that I should have took a little bit more serious yeah. than than thing than just taking on some casual. Like there's women that like now in my life that I'm like damn. Like when I was younger and I was a little bit more outside, I should have took more seriously than what I did. So I'm not necessarily I'm not regretful, but like I'm like damn like. If I was a meter today, it would go a little differently. Would it? Because I'm not the. Per I, I mean, but neither is she. I would approach. I would approach. I would, I don't know if it would go differently. I would approach it differently than what I did the first time. Because at that time I was like, I'm just trying to get my shit out here, like it's something <laughs> outside. But now it's like, but now, you know what? Now I think it's kind of worse. Because now I, I approach it more like, yo, I'm trying to get to know you. And then I get to know her, and I'm like, this bitch a hoe. I could have just kept the shit pushing from the beginning. Like, I could have just treated her like, like what she was from the beginning. Oh, I hate those experiences, man. I really hate those experiences. So it's just like, I don't know. Some, so like, in, in all honesty, like, in no jokes and all shit, sometimes I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like it's shit. Like, if, what's even worth the approach anymore? Like, like, at, like at this, or do I have to change my whole standards? Like, is that what it is? I think I gotta change my whole standards. Your whole standards? Yes, and I think my whole standards are higher than than on average Hold up. the okay, men th that I talk. Like, this all, is a whole new. Uh, this is a new concept. I don't know. Remember, you're talking to somebody who's men inside. I'm, I've known I've, <laughs> my entire adult life. I've never had this conversation with anybody. This, is, this is something that I'm like making. Like the phrase that I just use, whole standards, is something that I I just made up in my head. What I'm saying is, by whole standards, I mean like the 
what he considers a hoe and what I consider a hoe are very different. We've had this conversation. My standards are high as hell. I'm not gonna his, lie. his whole stand. Okay, so I guess in that sense, I need to lower my whole standards in that sense because his shit I think is stupid high. Like I he, still don't get what you're. His what, whole stand. What, what so are we what, talking about when you say a whole standard? Like body counts, the way that she moves, the shit that the shit that she does to dictate to you to give you those red flags that like uh, I'm gonna treat her more like a hoe as opposed to my girl. So your requirements. That's different because she might fulfill my requirements that the other girl fulfills. And the only deal breaker is that I could tell she done been a little bit more outside than the other one. Then that's one of your requirements. But it's the whole thing. That's one of my requirements. Like how women have a list of things that they would like to. No, no, no. I I understood exactly what you meant. It's just I never I, I never looked at it like that. I never thought about it like that. So now I'm th- that I have to repeat it to like really process what you just said to me to like, like think about it like that. Uh, I just, yeah, I just think we all like, I feel like you've been married for a minute. So I've never had this conversation with you, but I would just assume that your whole standards are the highest amongst the three. Actually, nah, because now we're, like now that I'm thinking about it based on your career, your shit, you probably seen more hoes than we have. Seen, seen, respectfully, <laughs> respectfully, <laughs> seen. <laughs> Just like shot, worked, whatever. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to get you in trouble. No, no but that's what it is. I'm not, that's what I'm saying. Like, I never knew what it was. Like, host standard. I don't know what it is. But I yeah. just made that up. That's yeah. what I know. But I say, I, I've said it, and I even have the conversation where I feel like dating in today's day and age will probably be tough as shit. Oh, it's so trash. It will be hard. It's so trash. Yeah, so it will be, the way I view it is one or two things. It's easy to attract women. Extremely easy. Uh, but to find somebody who has any kind of quality and values that are respectable are few and far between i don't know if, i don't know i don't think i agree with you as far as like it's extremely easy to attract women because the standards have changed women women just want i think it's with the cars and the flashy stuff and the money well and i whatnot. guess I, I, that is it is harder to keep her. okay i guess i got so i'm a bit i'm a little bit i'm a little bit jaded in a way or maybe i'm not because i've always I just don't post any of this shit on social media, but I've always driven nice cars. Like I've always owned shit. So that's what I, that's probably why I say probably attractive. Cause you're a man of that value. Yeah. Like, I don't know what that means, but yeah. Like you, you're, you take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Like you, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, you're you're, fi- you're financially stable, right? I mean, uh, not yeah. trying to put that kind of business out there, but you know, you, you, you make sure that as a man, you are good. Like you can provide, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, my thing is uh, going back to dating. It is it is definitely trash coming from a single guy. Like it's definitely trash. You know what they're saying? Um, uh, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Mm-hmm. Well, the sea is full of piss. All right, that, that it's full of piss. It's, there can it's still trash. be fish in it. Huh? There can still be fish in it. Yeah, but like I said, the sea is full of piss. The quality is trash. Again, the the morals, the the ideologies, like it's it's. Just gone to shit. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I see, like, that's why I'm saying, like, we need to have conversations where we start sharing and putting out there a message that maybe values are cool. And, like, that's what people want. And, oh, like, yeah. and, they, and, they, and they're willing to, like, because I guarantee you that right now it's one of two things. Men will do what women allow them to do. And women will do whatever they can to get the men that they want. Mm. And honestly, from a perspective of like, and it makes sense. Like, if you know, like, if men right now all they want is just get it off very easily, and they're doing that, that means that women are fairly easy to get for yeah. for those that are able to do it. Well, I feel like men. That's always been a thing for men. I mean, back in old age, you know, men would sleep with multiple women. No, I get it. I understand that. Thing. But what I mean, it it only happens because women allow it. Like yeah, you're not, yeah. you know what I mean? Like unless you're like doing shit that's illegal, illegal, then that's a, that's the one thing too. I don't understand like how guys can just keep going through life like that. Like I understand if you're young, you know your hormones are crazy, or you just young minded. But very quickly, I reached the point where I'm like, yo, what's the? There's really no point 
to this shit. Like, what's the whole point of catching multiple bodies and just sleeping around? Like, there's no value in that. That's that's where I'm at right now. So now I'm at the point. I was thinking about this shit today when I'm driving. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is really the point? So I'm like, man, I might have to go to a different country or some shit. Yo, like, <laughs> like, I had to follow with me. You know what I mean? That has, like, a different perspective on the shit. Thank you for tuning in to another reaction video. This is Never Famous. I am Audi. That's Vinny. That's Ro. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments how you feel about this video. Any any topics, any conversations, anything you guys want to uh, talk about the video. We appreciate you for tuning in to another one. Thank you.